Hey everybody, this is Billy from LM Cases, and today we're gonna to take a look at our new case for the Tonelux JC37 microphone. Um, I thought this would be a cool opportunity to look at our case versus the factory case that the microphone came in. Um, there are a lot of opportunities that we like to take and expand upon factory cases and just make what we think is a little bit better case, and certainly a more heavy duty case. Um, so we'll start by opening this case up. So let's look at the two cases side by side. Um, just as far as latches and handles go, these are heavy duty Pen Elcom twist latches and a heavy duty spring loaded handle. These are very light duty briefcase handles or uh, latches and just a normal kind of briefcase handle. So opening the two cases up, the factory case has a spot for the power supply the cable and the microphone. So there, there are some ways that we can definitely improve on the way that this works. So let's pop our power supply out of here for a second. And we'll put this in our case for the meantime. Um, and we will take the factory IEC power cable out and put that in our case for the meantime. Uh, here's one of the things that I, I don't really like that we changed on the factory case. So this microphone has its cable permanently attached to it. Um, so when you're storing it, you have to wrap it really nice or it won't go in this compartment very well. And when you're putting it in and out of the compartment, you have the uh, tendency to rub this grommet right here on this on this piece of foam, which is not, not super great. So when we take this out, let's set this off to the side here for a second. When we take this out and, putting it in, and put it in our case, it just deals with the cabling a little bit better. So this goes in here like this. This is custom cut just for this cable exit right here. The cable goes just very nice and neat underneath the power supply. And it makes it easy to use, just like that. So. One of the interesting things about this particular uh, design of microphone is that the power supply is designed for a stereo pair of microphones. The case is not necessarily designed for a stereo pair of microphones. So one of the reasons beyond build quality that you would upgrade your standard case to, or the factory case to our case, is if you have a stereo pair of these mics. So they do have two compartments in this particular case that assumingly uh, handles two microphones, but the way that the cable management has to go in here is not very good. So let's let's look at that just as an example. So our power supply off to the side. So if you had two of these cases or two of these microphones in here, you would put a microphone here, and then you'd have to route your cables over another microphone, assuming that it would fit in there all right. And that's that's not very good. So what we what we ended up doing is just having these compartments in a very, very nice and laid out way so that you can have both microphones with both sets of cables just in there. Um, another thing that's interesting is that we use a different type of foam. Uh, this foam is what's called a crosslink foam that's in the, uh, the factory case. Um, and you can see that there's already some indentations happening in the case directly from the factory or just in the way it was packed. So you can see that it's not very, it, it's very tight in the sense that um, the way that they have everything in there. So this lays it out in a much nicer way. Um, going back to the foam, this is a very dense foam. Uh, if you see how my thumb is, is pushing it versus ours, it's a little bit softer. If you're taking this microphone on the road, if you're doing remote recordings, or you're using it outside of the confines of a traditional studio, you may want something a little bit more heavy duty like that. So um, looking at this case, our case, um, we accommodate for many things. So the power supply sticks up just a little bit into the um, above what we call the lid split, which is this part right here. There's accommodation for it within the lid. Um, the microphones have accommodation. So this, this perfectly fits the microphone for its adjustment knobs and it closes nicely. As you can see, there's just that little bit of resistance that goes over it. That means it's trapping the power supply in. All of our foam is cut with a CNC saw. Uh, these are all extremely precise. All of the cases are made exactly the same to very exacting standards. Um, the way that these cases are built, 
Um, let's turn this around so that you can see. These are individual aluminum pieces wrapped around quarter inch plywood. So you can have this in whatever color you want. There is varieties of ABS uh, plastic colors available on our website. You can get your logo on, on the case if you'd like it. You can upload your logo directly on our product page if you'd like to add a logo. Uh, and these cases work very good for, uh, for storage on shelves in studios. So you can take the case and lay it on its side flat like this and slide. The, uh, the surfaces are nice and flat on all sides. So if you have any more questions, you can check this case out at lmcasesonline.com. Thanks for stopping by.